Okay, here's a game I played this morning against a 2100-something player, and let's see what we can learn. Remember, your goal is to get the best elemental advantage, time, space, or force, or pawn structure, and then convert that or the best uh, strategic imbalance otherwise, some of the lesser ones. All right, so here we go. Knight to F3, I have the black pieces, C5, B3, D5, Bishop to B2, Knight to C6, E3. And you know, I already have a goal. I want to try and, since he's not grabbing the center, I want to try to dominate the center. I want that E5 square. That's the other thing, you know, you come up with an idea and you try to force it. All right, right? So I'm ready to push that pawn, e5. But he stops that, right, with the pin. I won't let that deter me. Now I'm going to pin one of his pieces to still push my e5 plan. He castles. I put the question to the bishop. And he runs, and that's a bit of a mistake, I think. But who knows? Uh, rook to d8, a3. And now I take, I'm ready. I, I brought the rook over to defend that pawn because I knew his bishop would be on it and I wouldn't be able to push e5. Still working on my e5 plan. And I get my e5 plan, you see? That's why it's good to have a plan. All right, d3, knight up, f6. All right, so black, look, black's got advanced center, black controls the center, and now I need to try to convert that center into a win. He gets out of that pin, the x-ray rather, of the rook. Bishop, I have a threat, right? Make sure most of your moves are threats to gain a tactical plan or a um, strategic goal. So I'm threatening to bear down on that uh, h2 pawn, right? Threatening to win that with a push to e4. He sees that. And he moves the pawn. I castle. Knight up. Knight to d2. He's developing. Rook over. I've got all my pieces developed, right? Black has all their pieces developed in the center because that's where I dominate. You know, you try to f place your pieces. You try to get a force majority somewhere where you have an advantage. Okay, so he brings the rook over. And now, I don't know. Well, I'm just going to push. All right, so, you know, if he takes my knight on f6, I take his bishop, and then he has to, oh, actually, no, he'll be hitting my rook. Take that back. But anyway, he doesn't do that. I take, I take, he takes, he runs. Bishop to e5. I'm getting rid of his best piece, really, that long diagonal black uh, dark squared bishop. And now knight up, and you know, when you have your pieces fully developed, good things happen automatically. That's the key to playing good chess, just knowing where, you know, just develop. And that superior development will lead to a tactic. That knight was a very bad move, as we shall see. Well, actually, he should have taken back with the knight, but he didn't. He took with the queen, and boom, game over. Knight has no escape squares. Rook's over, now it's a matter of technique, right? He keeps playing because he's a 2100-something player, and he thinks I'm going to screw up. And I could, because I do, but I didn't in this game. I moved that pawn because the bishop was on it. Don't give him anything if you don't need to. Rook takes, rook over. I want to get right, trade down, up material, trade down. He doesn't want to do that, rightfully so. I want to trade the queen off. He's forced to trade. And now we just go for the glory. Here's how the game ends. I'll just show you quickly. I got two knights. He keeps fighting, as he should. Anyway, you know, I play 10-minute games because uh, that's 20 minutes for the whole game. I can keep learning. I suggest that to you, right? Don't try to win your games. Try to get one games is what I say. I usually don't try to use the clock. You know, I try to understand the position strategically. Uh, that way I can keep learning. Because if you're just playing really fast blitz for fun, I mean, you can do that. But, you know, if you're below expert, really, you should be playing a lot of slower chess to, in order to take time to um, make your decisions. And if you don't 
have a lot to think about while you're playing. Well, that means you need to learn more. And I'm going to pop the video up here where I have lots of things to consider before you move. All right. He wants to come over and get my weak pawns, but I'm going to stop that. So check. Now it's just technique. You know, of course he can't win. and He's all right. Take, take. I'm just going to show you. And I push, push, push. Okay. So I have a queen game and it's going to be game over. Boom, boom, boom. And I get the bishop and he resigns. All right. So I hope you got something out of this. If you did, thumbs up. And we will continue on to the next game that I played this morning as well. And we'll sh I'll show you. You know, look, these are guys. Look, my videos are geared for players below expert level, right, which is most of you. So let's look at how this other expert screwed up as well. All right. And I screw up too, and I'll show you some of those games. But this morning I had two good wins. All right, let's move on. Game I have the white pieces, and this is a lower rated expert, um, 2045. And all right, d5, d4 rather. Knight f6, c4. All right, he's going for whatever that opening is called. And I take the pawn. He runs. I develop. He develops knight to c6. Two attackers on the pawn. I'm going to ignore that. I'm already. I've already got a pawn. Develop. Get your pieces developed. Bishop up. He checks me. I block it. Castles take. He takes. I take. Because I want to move my knight to the c3 square. Right. He has more um, advanced mobility there. Everything's defended, right? The pawn's defended. Good, I develop. I have two guys out. He has one guy out. Okay. All right, he's going to finchetto on that side. I castle. He does. And now I go for it. Yeah? F4. And I get in there. I have a plan. As I mentioned in the last video, I have a plan. All right, so my plan is to push this pawn, push the pawn to f5 and f6. Bust open his king side. He develops the rook. He didn't see my plan. He really should have done something about that because I get a huge advantage now, right? I break open his king. And, um, you know, this is a 10 minute game, right? So it's 20 minutes. But. Let's see what happens when you don't play the right moves. Yeah, and that was, I don't know. He should have done something else. But, okay, so what's the idea here, right? I can mate him on the G2 square, so let's just go for it. I think it's game over already, right? He takes, I go in, game over. That's how quickly it can happen when you don't place your pieces, you don't see threats, you don't prepare to defend. These are against experts, okay, guys? All right, hope you got something out of this. We'll continue this um, sometime this week. So if you liked it, you got something out of it, thumbs up, subscribe, and all that. Talk to you later. Bye.